Hello friends, once again welcome to BISPtrainings.com My name is Amit and today I am going to show you how you can find the time difference difference between two dates it could be two months, two weeks, two dates, two years in today's example I am going to show you two functions one is called timestamp diff another one is called evaluate function by which we are going to pass database function month difference along with a couple of arguments so timestamp diff is one method through which you can evaluate the difference between two dates as you see as for the syntax timestamp diff takes two argument three argument the first argument talk about sql tsi dates in order to find a difference between days you passed sql tsi dates in order to find difference between months you pass first argument as sql tsi month because in this example we are going to find out difference between two dates the both of them should be date and timestamp data type. So, day date and current date, right? This is the first and second argument. The example which we are going to do today is based on sample sales, and we are going to find out the difference between order place date, order date, and paid date. So, we can find out the difference between order to pay. So, you see, the first argument going to be month, second argument is order date or date and time and paid date and we want this value to be cast as double so I apply cast function on top of this so before we process further let's do this live example I'm going to create a new request and new analysis in new analysis I like to bring various information about order so we have a order column over here order type uh, order date order date and paid date and the difference between order date and paid date so I place one more column right click and edit formula I change it name it order to pay now I like to pass in timestamp diff I can use the same argument this one this function simple copy and paste I can use it over there so sorry this is going to be timestamp difference between order date and paid date and I finally cast it to double that's it okay and then run it <coughs> this is first example order type order date paid date and order day difference between two months different between months so as you see order place on this date and paid on these days and the difference between both of them is rounded off to month this is one way there is an alternate way of doing the same is called evaluate function evaluate function used extensively every time you want to invoke database function with arguments as it is given over here this function passes the specified database function with optional reference as a parameter so see first argument is database function and all the argument database receive can be passed as a column one and column two. So you see, I'm using month between function of Oracle, and it takes two argument which I pass over here as dollar uh, percent one and percent two. And percent one argument is order date, paid date, sorry, and second one is order date. So difference between paid date and order date time, and the final output we are casting as double. So I use a cast function on top of this. So let's see how to do the same thing. I copy and paste and execute this function as well. So I'll go to my criteria section, add one more column and modify the definition of it. And here also I use a custom defined label order to pay by using eval function evaluate function okay. so evaluate the function name and month between is a function from Oracle with two argument order date and paid date and order date that's it first one is one is evaluate function another one is timestamp diff C 
see right so finally you get the difference between both of them between between two time now finally we look at the query and understand how it process you go to administration manage session scroll absolute to the bottom there you find your query click on view log and you find the SQL query over here so you see we use first I use month between function right in both the cases whether I use timestamp difference or evaluate function Oracle interpret them as a month difference between right month between function with two argument as pay date and order date so from front end whatever function you apply eventually when it get processed against your data source like within our example in Oracle it use a common function called month between function so that's it for today if you have any question you can write to us our website is www.bsbtrainings.com should you have any question or consulting requirement please feel free to visit to our site also subscribe to our YouTube channel to access more than 1000 videos across different BA products. Thank you and have a great day ahead.